Hey, good morning, good morning, Periscope. This is Kelly Ramsey, and I am live from the Oklahoma um, State Capitol. And so I'm here on the premises. I had to take care of some business here, there. So you can see it in the background. And so um, I came, I had to come here this morning. I'm sorry, I'm moving around, but I got to find this right spot. <laughs> I always think about Latar when I do that. <clears throat> and so I had to come um, this morning to, there we go, that's good. Okay, I had to come this morning to pick up some artwork that we dropped off on last week for a display that we're doing. And so I'm here and um, I thought this would be a great place to talk about establishing your platform. And so we were on our Women Emerge community group um, on yesterday. And so we were speaking and just encouraging each other and connecting, having our Tuesday connection. And um, so Miss Latara, she didn't speak about it then, but I think she did a Periscope later on about not letting go of your platform and establishing your platform. And so I thought about um, the work that we do as we do that work our platforms oftentimes get interrupted, right? Because we may be on a path and then someone diverts us to a different path. But when we're on our true platform, that's our platform, we get some work done that's amazing. And so that's what I think of this, it's amazing work. So I'm picking up this art display to take it to another art display that it will be up at the um, City Arts Building of our children's art. And it's more than just the children making a piece of art. It's a movement. It's an acknowledgement of our skill set, of the work that we do, of the artists that put in work and labor. And for me, it's the, the acknowledgement of education and the impact that it has on our young children's lives. And so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. So as I was driving here, I was on the freeway and to the right of me, here comes this bike that is on the freeway in the side lane. Um, and in, immediately, of course, I had an idea because <laughs> that's how I do. And so I said, how many of us have a mode of transportation, but we're on the wrong path, right? And so we have a mode of transportation for our vision, for our work, for our platform but you're not on the right pathway. And so what happens is that you have the vehicle, you have the mode of transportation, he had the bike, but he's on the freeway. And that's so dangerous, right? Because he could fall over, a car could swerve, it could hit him, it could wipe him out. And so a lot of times our vision gets wiped out because we're, one, we have a mode of transportation, but we're moving on a pathway that's beyond our mode of transportation. So you cannot move up forward and you cannot move your platform if you have the wrong mode of transportation and you're on the wrong path, right? And so you have to step back and figure out how am I going to get there? Am I going to walk? Um, am I going to wait for the bus? And the bus is going to take me there. So if you have an app like on your phone app, when I travel, I use this a lot when I go different um, cities. And so it gives you a choice. I can use the, I can walk there. It will take this amount of time. I can take the bus. It takes this amount of time. I can take the car. It takes this amount of time. Or I could fly, right? Or take a train. So no matter what your mode of transportation is, it needs to meet the um, pathway that you have to set it forth and to make it into movement. And then the other thing is once you get your mode of transportation, you want to make sure you're on the right path that's going to get you to your destination. And the only way you can be on the right path is that you have to have a vision for your work. That sets the path, right? And so as you have that vision, the scripture says in Habakkuk, if you write the vision and make it plain, people will run to the vision to fulfill it, to help you fulfill it. And so a lot of times we're not getting our vision fulfilled and we're not establishing our platform because we've never written the vision out, right? And so developing people is about helping you to discover your greatness that's within you, to develop that dream or that vision, that idea, that goal, and then to launch it forward, to get it on the path and start moving towards the direction of that vision or dream. 
if you don't know how to do that, you need us. And so you need to get in touch with us. And so you can find us on our website, developpeople.org. You can also find us on Facebook um, under Developing People and Kelly Ramsey. If you are really serious about this, we would invite you to join our We Connect community, The Launchpad, on Facebook. And we are going to begin a series of Q&A around the Launchpad content. It will give you a peek uh, at what the content is, but it also will let you hear the stories of those who started this in January and where they are and how they are getting through each of their steps. So we invite you to do that. So that's the message today. So discover and understand your platform, right? You can't do it without a vision for where you're headed and you have to be on the right path to get there. And so as you go forward in your day, think about those things and begin to make the steps to align yourself. And as I go forward in my day, I'm going to take this um, opportunity to be able to expand the work that we're doing with young children and families all over the nation. Because our impact is greater than just Oklahoma City, but it's all over the nation. As we impact educators, as we impact leaders, as I share my story, as I sit at different tables and um, board meetings and on different councils, that's the story that I'm sharing. And I'm helping to stir up the passion for our work and helping to set a new platform and a new destiny for our children and our families. So thanks for tuning in. If you're watching the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And be sure to share this. If you have people who um, you believe will benefit, I think everybody will benefit from it. Because when you know your destiny, you can fulfill the work that God has for you. And you can discover the greatness that's within. So have an awesome, awesome day. And I will see you back here tomorrow on um, time management Thursday. And we have some tips for you that we'll give you for time management so you can get your work done. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.